<laughs> Called the ultimate power by Nvidia, the new GeForce GTX Titan Z aims to take back the throne in the never-ending GPU war. With two fully unlocked GK110 GPUs, the GTX Titan Z comes in at a whopping $3,000 MSRP. As far as specifications go, the GeForce GTX Titan Z features 5,760 CUDA cores and 12GB of GDDR5 memory. Being that this is the dual GPU graphics card, the megahertz trade-off was expected. In addition, because both of the GPUs are on the same PCB, the card itself can get quite hot. That is why Nvidia has opted to increase the size of the card to take up 3 expansion slots. The outside of the card uses an all-metal exterior that provides extra strength as well as heat dissipation. The fan that cools the Titan Z is a center-mounted axial fan that uses channels to move the air to each heatsink. Each of the vapor chambers offer 60% more volume than found on the Titan Black, giving them a larger surface area to ease cooling. If you look at the card and compare it to others by price per performance, obviously solutions that use two separate cards will come out on top. The GTX Titan Z, however, is not aimed at that crowd. The Titan Z is aimed for more compact builds like Micro ATX or Mini ITX such as a Bolt 2, or those who need an insane amount of compute power in servers. You also need to note that the card does draw quite a bit of power, with our test system hitting a peak wattage of 630 watts. In turn, you're going to want to be sure that you have a good quality power supply that can handle the load of the graphics card. Because the Titan Z is a dual GPU graphics card, we made sure to test it against both options currently out on the market. That includes single GPU solutions like the Titan Black, as well as dual GPU solutions such as the AMD R9 295X2. In conclusion, the GTX Titan Z is definitely an amazing graphics card that performs well at Ultra HD resolutions. Unfortunately, we didn't have multiple 4K panels on hand to test 12K surround sound and really push the VRAM of the Titan Z. Perhaps that is where it would really outshine the R9295X2. However, with that said, until we are able to test those resolutions, we are just going to have to judge it with what we have at the moment. Considering the price of the card, the Titan Z is really meant for those who want an insane amount of power in a tiny package. Having two fully unlocked GK110 GPUs on the same PCB with double precision make this one heck of a workhorse. If you're doing more than just gaming, the Titan Z has plenty of power to tackle compute applications. What it really comes down to is what are your needs? Do you need the double precision performance of the Titan Z or are you just going to do 4K gaming? To determine if the Titan Z is the right graphics card for you, you're going to want to look over what you actually want to do with your gaming computer or workstation computer. Is the price justified? Well, that's something you're going to have to figure out on your own by looking at your needs.